Did it. Did it. We're at the stairs. Me and Jay came here last week. Ran him. I think we did him three times, four times, three times. We said, we should make a goal to do those five times. Be able to do those five times. Walk the stairs once. Run the trail down. I just did it five times. I only ran twice because my running downhill is killing my shin. So I ran twice and I walked the other three. But I accomplished the goal, Shay. Should have been here, dude. Should have went back to Idaho like a big loser. And just kidding. But uh, feels good, man. I had a lot of people ask me after I posted that uh, semi-douchey picture yesterday on Instagram, if you saw it. If you didn't see it, you don't follow me, so go follow me. But uh, I showed you a picture of from like three months ago, it's about three and a half months ago, and then about uh, two months ago, then yesterday I took a picture and uh, my progress, so. But after I posted that picture, a lot of people said, how do you stay so motivated? For me, honestly, feeling better obviously is a huge thing. Not only feeling better, but actually seeing results, that can be huge. That's why I say take a picture. So once you start seeing some results, it's kind of addicting. So this is what the stairs look like from the top going down. This is how intimidating they are. Super spread out and wide and steep. There's the bottom. And that's what it looks like from the bottom. It's a long freaking way up there. So I did it five times. Up once, ran the trail down, walked the trail down. I think about six miles total, five and a half, six miles. I'll have to check. But uh, good workout, man. It took me about an hour and a half, I think. Definitely get me in shape to go hunting and hike the hills, the mountains like that one. Big, right? Doesn't look, maybe it doesn't look that big on camera, but it is, guys. I promise. You just got to keep working at it like anything. You know, I always set a goal for myself, a date. And uh, it's always the hunting season, right? And it's probably not the best to do, but I always get fat over the winter. I'm like a bear, a slumbering, you know, hibernating bear, and I get fat. And then spring rolls around, I'm like, I should get in shape, and I start thinking about it. Oh, I should. And then summer comes around, it's like, hey, I should get that beach body on. And then I'm like, all right, it's time. Not just for the beach body, but get ready for the hunts. And then I really start working, so I usually give myself about three months. And I kill myself, basically, and I hurt my legs. So, but it's always good to set a date and say, I'm going to be here. I'm going to be at this goal by this date. And then you have to stay motivated to hit it. Because once you hit a goal too, it's like seeing a little bit of change in your body. Once you hit that goal, it's like, dude, I can crush any goal I set. It's just like this. Me and Shay talking about doing that five times. Do the stairs five times. This was last week. And I thought before I go home, which is in like a week and a half, I want to be able to do that. Dude, I just did it today. Crushed it. Nailed it. Anyway, guys. I'm sorry if I'm not preaching to you, believe me, I have know nothing more about health than you guys do. I just know my body and what works. Guys, we are headed to the movies and I just wanted to let you know how responsible and uh, how wonderful parents me and Kaylee are, right? Don't tell. Why? Because no. It's part of our lives, this is what happened. So today was back to school night for the kids, go back to school, and let me just tell you, I guess it's important, but it's kind of super lame. You just go there and meet their teachers, which we already do. We already know who their teachers are. We've met them, we've talked to them. You go and you kind of see what the kids have been doing. They've only been going to school for two weeks, so we made a deal with the kids. We're like, listen, if you guys want to go back to school tonight, we'll go, right, Bradley? I said, I will go. And she was like, oh, well, I want you guys to go. And we're like, okay, we'll go. But if you don't want us to go, if you don't want to go back to school tonight, we'll go to a movie instead. Well, here we are. Is that bad parenting? Should we have gone? We're pretty like involved in the kids' school. I pick them up every day. I meet their teachers every day. I talk to them. And what, what, seriously, what could they have done in two weeks that I needed to go and see? Like, maybe we're terrible parents. I don't know. But that's that's what we did. We we convinced our kids to go to the movie instead. We're teaching them responsibility at a young age. All right, we just went and saw a super good movie. It was okay. We are actually headed. Um, we had bought our tickets and we're headed inside the, the theater to go see Planes. And uh, Shay Hay told me and I told him we were going to see Planes and he said, don't, don't waste your money. It's the worst movie ever. Well, he said it wasn't very entertaining. So we switched our tickets out and we went to Percy Jackson. Good, Percy not Jackson good? Too. I thought it was good. Really? Yeah. Yeah, we what? We've seen the first one. Was it good or not? Yeah. 
You guys remember we saw the first one. I called it Percy Harvin, like the football player on accident. It's called Percy Jackson. It was good, about fell, you know. This is BS though, okay? You come to the theaters and you have a hard enough time not eating popcorn and candy and drinks, and then they have this. This is what I want. Who comes to the theater and gets nachos and cheese fries and hamburgers and mojitos and taco salads? Fight. So hard. So hard to eat healthy in a movie theater. I ate a ton of popcorn. Anyway, yeah, Percy Jackson was good. Gage, did you like it? Yes, yeah, yeah. What part did you like the best? The one, one, can't we know. When, um, the, okay, you can't tell parts. When, um, show it. Show it. Act it out. That part. So if you guys see it, you'll know what he's talking about. We were just, we were being gays, we were just in the guys' room, you know, taking a pee, being guys, talking about guy stuff. And he's like, Dad, I think I want that sword. He has a really cool sword. So go see it. It's a good movie. Go watch the first one first, obviously. And then go see the sequel. And I can just tell you right now, there will be a, another movie coming out the way they ended it. Casey Levere does the LOG.